Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In the previous tutorial, I have discussed how to assign the JSON values. Then I have discussed how to use the curl command. Then I have discussed how to execute the collections. And also I have discussed how to execute the folders. And then I have discussed how to exclude the test script execution from the collections. Then finally, I have discussed how to export the collections into the JSON file. In this chapter 4 of AP testing tutorial, I will discuss how to install Newman. Then I will discuss how to execute the Postman collections from the command prompt. Then I will discuss how to generate the standard HTML report after executing the Postman collections from the command prompt. Then finally, I will discuss how to generate the advanced HTML report after executing the collections from the command prompt. Firstly, I will discuss how to download and install the Newman. You can go to the google.com and here you can type install Newman. So after that, you can make sure that you are uh, clicking on this particular link that is uh, support.postman.com. So you can click on this particular link. And after that, so these are the steps you need to follow. So if, if you have the npm installed already, run, we can directly install the our new man directly. So if you have, if you don't have npm installed, so you need to firstly install the node.js. You can click on this node.js and you can download the .msi for Windows and you can download the dot package for the mac os and you can install it so steps are very easy and simple it is straightforward you can go ahead and complete the installation process so after installing the node node.js in your system and you can verify the node.js just by typing the node hyphen hyphen and version after executing node space hyphen hyphen version so you should get the version of the node.js so this is how you can install the Node.js in your system. After installing the Node.js, you need to run the this particular command for installing the new man in your system. So you need to write in the command prompt npm install followed by hyphen g and new man. So after entering this command, so installation will be completed. After completion of your installation, you can check it by just typing the new man hyphen hyphen version so you should get the version of the new man so here i got the version of the new man so this is how you can make sure that node.js is installed correctly and also new man is installed correctly so this is all about the installation part of new man so now let's discuss how to execute the postman collections from the command prompt so in the previous tutorial we have exported the booking underscore api JSON file and also we have exported the environment.json file. So by using these two files, we can execute the all the API request and respective test script. So I will open the command prompt and I will do the change directly till this particular location. And here I'll type cd. So that's it. So now we have to use the new main command here. So sorry. <coughs> Sorry guys. So first booking underscore API this contains the all the API request and respective test script. In the second JSON file that is the environment.json file, it contains all the variables and values. That's the respective values it contains. So we have to execute this particular collection and we have to pass the values from this particular JSON file. That's the environment.json file, right? So here we have to enter new man followed by run then we have to specify the collection name so here i'm specifying the booking underscore api dot json and space here i'm entering the hyphen e so that is nothing but we have to specify the environment json file now so we have specified the here json that is a collection file in the form of json and next we have to specify the environment dot json file Right, so here I'll specify the 
So E is hyphen E is nothing but the environment variable JSON file. So that's it. So I'll maximize this one. So now the all the API requests are getting executed. So total we have the 16 assertions out of that one is getting failed. So this is this is the expected failure. If you look at the result here. So this particular API request is getting failed. So here I have passed the 202 but we are getting the 200 from the server. So this is the expected failure. So this is how you can execute the postman collections from the command prompt. So it is very simple. So just you need to type new man followed by run and after that collection name and after that hyphen e and followed by the environment variables json file. So you can try this at your end and let me know if you are having any issues. So this is all about the executing the postman collections from the command prompt. Now let's start discussing about how to generate the standard html report after executing the postman collections from the command prompt. So now I will go to the command prompt. So here we have to install the one npm package. So that's npm and followed by i sorry npm followed by i and followed by g then you need to enter new man hyphen reporter and followed by html. So you need to enter this particular command you need to install the one of the npm package. So that's the reason you have to install you have to enter the npm followed by i and space followed by g hyphen g then space followed by new man hyphen reporter hyphen html so that's it so this installation will take few seconds so let's wait for few seconds after the completion of this installation we can execute the our booking api collection from the command prompt and after that by using the another command we should be able to generate the standard html report so let's wait for few more seconds So after completion of this installation, we have to use the one simple command. So we have already discussed how to execute uh, any Postman collections from the command prompt. So let's execute our Postman collection now. So we have to enter new man followed by run command, sorry run. Then here we have to specify the collection name and followed by hyphen E. And here we have to specify the environment variables json file right so here I'll pass the environment variable json file and simply i will execute the collections right now after completion of this execution we can use the similar command so now i will go to the place where we have placed the our collections and also the environment variable json file right so if you look at here so there is no json folder here so if i execute the command now so here one folder will be generated with the new man and inside that we should be able to find the dot html report so i will use the same command whatever the command we have used for executing the collections from the command prompt and followed by i will specify the hyphen r and i'll say html then i will hit the enter So it will take few seconds and eventually it will generate the html report. Let's go to the place where we have the collections right. If you look at here new man folder got created and inside there is a html report. Let's open this html report now and if you look at here total number of assertions is 60 out of that one got failed and total failures are 1. So this is the expected failure. And here you will see the folder wise all the API request. So let me go to the one of the API that's a create booking API. 
So we have the two folders that is a positive endpoints and the negative scenarios. So all the API requests and respective test assertion got executed, right? So let's go to the one of the API that is a create booking API. And inside this, you'll see the method type. That's a type type of method is post. And after that, you'll see the URL. And here you'll see the total pass tests that is for right now we have a zero failures in this particular API request. And also you'll see the status code. So what is the status code? We got it. And after, after that, so we have the total four tests got passed and those four assertions you can find it here and respective count also you can find it here. So there are zero failures. So this is the example of one of the API which got passed. So let's go to the another API. So that is a curl command import. So this in this particular API, we have only one test that is a that is got failed. If you look at here, so this is the expected failure, and also you can look the count here, failed count. So this is how you can generate the standard HTML report after executing the postman collections from the command prompt. Now let's discuss how to generate the advanced HTML report after executing the collections from the command line. So now I will go to the command line. So we, we have to install the one of the npm package called. So here I am entering the command called npm followed by install space hyphen g and followed by new man and followed by that reporter hyphen html and I'll say extra. So that's it. So here I have entered the npm space install space hyphen g and followed by space new man hyphen reporter hyphen html extra. So that's it. So after that simply hit the enter. So there there are some npm packages will be getting installed. So after the installation is completed simply we have to execute the all our collections API requests. So let's wait for a few seconds. So after the completion of this installation, we can execute the Postman collections. So it is very easy. So just you need to use the only one simple command by using that we can generate the advanced HTML report. So installation got completed now, right? So here we have to execute our collections. So that's the reason here I'm entering new man followed by run. Then I'll specify the collection name and I'll specify the hyphen key followed by that. I'll specify the environment variable JSON file and followed by we have to specify the two hyphen followed by reporter reporters equal to tli and comma then simply enter the html extra so if you look at this particular folder where we have the collections json file and the environment variable json file so currently we don't have the new main folder after executing this collections. So in this particular location, new main folder will be generated. Inside that, we will be finding the HTML report. So let's execute our collections. And after that, it will create the new main folder and also it will create the .html report. So that's it. So execution got completed. So we have the assertions. Total assertions is 16. Out of that is one got failed. And let's go to the location and if you look at here new main folder got generated let's open the html report so so this is a advanced html report for the api test api testing so you can switch between this dark and light and in my case i will keep it as light so this is a whole summary you can find total number of assertions out of this one got failed and if you come down also, you can see the summary of the complete collections execution. And here also you can see the assertions part, total is 16 and one got failed. And you can switch, you can click in, click on this particular total requests. And here you'll find the 
folder wise all the api request and respective test script and you can click on this expand folder so it will expand the folder so right now we have the two folders one is positive endpoints which has the devan api request and second folder we have is negative scenarios which has the two api request let me expand this folder so let's go to the one of the api here i will open the create booking api so here you will find the request method and the url which we have used and here you will find the status code so if you look at the percentage of passing in this particular api that is assertions so all the assertions got passed in this api so if i come down so this is the request headers all the key and the values are there and after that request body what we have sent to the server after that response headers what we got it from the server and after that you will find the response body so this is the response we got it from the server and then finally you will see the test information so here you will find the all the test names and respective status and all the four tests got passed and also here you can see the total number of tests is four so this is the one of the api which got passed all the test script so let us go to the another api where our one of the test test script got failed so if you look at this color so if it is green that that is nothing but all the assertion got passed in that particular api and if it is highlighting in the red color that is nothing but so assertions are got failed in that particular api so let's open this api that is a curl command import and this is the post api post method api and this is the url what we have used and this is the request headers then request body then this is the response headers what we got it from the server and this is the response body then finally we have the test information and also you can copy this particular response body also by clicking on this copy to clipboard and if i come down here so this is the only one assertions we have added that is nothing but one only one test is there inside this particular api and that is what failed here and if you look at this particular total count also one and here you will you will see the test failure result so actually expected is 202 but we are getting the 200 status code from the server so this is the expected failure in our case so this is how you can generate the advanced newman html report after executing the collections from the command prompt